Setting up a patrol or crew-sized dining fly is most always essential. Nowadays, for front country outings and long-term camps, a metal-framed canopy is frequently used. But these are way too heavy and impractical when scouts need to carry their own gear to the site. For a portable shelter that serves to keep things dry when eating or gathering, the traditional tarp is the way to go. It's much lighter in weight, takes up less room, and is far more easy to pack. Generally speaking, when setting up camp, the dining fly is the first to go up and the last to come down. The materials for setting up a basic patrol dining fly are a tarp with a center ridge line attached, a mallet, six stakes, four guy lines, and two upright poles. Shown here are four scout staves along with four lashing ropes, which can be used easily to make two eight-foot upright poles. Some basic skills will come into play when erecting a dining fly. For instruction and demonstrations, refer to the basic camp craft videos for two half hitches, taut line hitch, and bow line, and the pioneering skill videos for clove hitch and half hitches, and round lashing. If you're using scout staves, hiking staffs, or shorter poles, two tight round lashings will join them together to make two upright poles for the front and back of the dining fly. Lay out the tarp in the place it will be set up and attach a guy line to each of the corner grommets with two half hitches. A bow line can also be used. For a simple setup, extend each guy line out 45 degrees from the corners. Position the stakes so they are a good five feet from the corners. Hammer them in at a slight angle away from the tarp with the notch on the outside. Tie a taut line hitch on each guy line somewhere near the middle between the stake and the grommet. Secure the tarp's ridge line to the front and back upright poles with a tight clove hitch tied right near the tarp. Adding an additional half hitch will provide more friction and aid in keeping the ridge line from sliding down the pole. When all lines are attached, the tarp can be raised by lifting the upright poles to a vertical position. Once it's standing, adjust the tension on all guy lines so the edges of the tarp are tight and square. Adding corner poles will noticeably increase the standing room of the dining fly. This can easily be accomplished by first loosening each corner guy line and attaching a pole near the grommet with a clove hitch. Once the corner poles are attached, adjust the tension on the guy lines with the taut line hitches. To withstand more wind and weather, two guy lines can be attached at each corner. Position the stakes slightly to the outside of a line extending from the edge of the tarp. On most occasions, when setting up a tarp in the basic A-frame configuration, a ridge line is connected to the center grommets at the front and back sides. Once in place, this line normally stays attached. One way to tie on the ridge line is to extend a bight through the grommet and form a lark's head around a small stick on the top side of the tarp. In the event of a very strong wind, the stick will break before the grommets tear away. What's known as the Philmont Dining Fly is a method of setting up the tarp with sides that are staked down close to the ground, providing a greater degree of weather protection for crew gear and during mealtime. A continuous line is stitched through the side grommets and, like the ridge line, stays attached to the tarp. Some poles have an extension that fits through the hole of a grommet, like a trekking pole, certain adjustable metal poles, or a wooden pole with a nail on the top. Here the fixed loop of a bowline is ideal for attaching the guy line. Pinning the back flat to the ground enables a tarp to be erected as a lean-to in a variety of ways. Tarps are not only convenient, but also very versatile. And when it comes to setting up a patrol dining fly, no single piece of camping gear is more useful.